4.7 inch LCD display, A15 Bionic chip, 2018 mAh battery, 5G support, water resistance, touch ID, 12 megapixel cameras for $429. None of this matters though. Let's see how it holds up in a real day in my life. The first thing I did this morning was head to the gym at around 7.40 am, I had 96% battery life. And since the iPhone SE doesn't have a notch in the display, you could see the full battery percentage at a glance. And yes, I'm connected to Wi-Fi and I'm using Bluetooth so I could listen to my music while I work out. There's something I really appreciate about the iPhone SE and it's the smaller form factor. It's very portable, very lightweight, coming in at just 0.32 pounds, I could easily throw it into my pockets without feeling weighed down at the gym. If you like to take gym pictures or record your gym workouts, the iPhone SE might not be the best option since it's missing that 0.5 ultra wide camera. So if you want to record your workouts for social media and stuff like that, you have to put your camera quite far back in order to get the full workout in frame. But on the good side, you could still record at 4K 30 and 4K 60 FPS. So I just finished my workout. It's currently 8.25 and I have 91% battery life on the iPhone SE. I'm recording from the front facing camera right now and I do have lights on in here, but this is recording at HD. So 1080p, 30fps, I can't seem to find 4K settings for the front facing camera. Also, let's switch over to the back camera so you guys can see what that looks like. It's not bad, you only get one camera, so you just get a single camera, 4K 30, you could record 4K 60, but it has to be in high efficiency mode, which I don't really recommend because it tends to break down when you transfer stuff to Windows, but if you're solely using Mac, I guess high efficiency could be good for you, but I recommend just using most compatible, especially if you create content and you like to transfer files and stuff like that. But yeah, 4K 30, what do you guys think? I think it's not bad. The only downside, as I said before, you only get one camera. It's a 12 megapixel camera. You don't get telephoto, you don't get night mode, you don't get cinematic mode. It's just a simple camera. It's either you hate it or you love it. For me, I hate it because creating content with just one camera kind of sucks. With that out of the way, I just finished my cool down, did my workout, and I have to head back upstairs because I have a lot of meetings today. It's kind of like gloomy today. It's kind of like a dead day, but we're gonna make it fun. As I said before, today is like working from home, tons of meetings, editing videos and stuff like that. So let's see. The first thing I did when I got back from the gym was to make my protein shake and also made some breakfast. Just some quick eggs with spinach and pancakes. I basically make this every morning. It gives me the right amount of calories I need to start the day off. I also quickly checked up on my emails, answered as much as I could, snuck in some quick TikTok scrolling of course, checked on my Instagram DMs all before my 9.30 a.m. meeting. As you can probably tell, I do have larger hands, but the iPhone SE is really easy to reach all four corners of the screen. For the first week of using the 60Hz refresh rate, it really made me feel sick, and the only way I could get used to it is just not switching back and forth between a 120Hz device and a 60Hz device. So for now, the 60Hz is fine, I guess the 429 price tag will justify it. Alright guys, so that team meeting lasted a little bit longer than I anticipated. It finished at 10, it's now 10-11 a.m. 79% battery life left. I think that's pretty good, but I really wanted to tap in with you guys to just preface this video by saying I keep seeing all the comments in like my previous day in the life videos in terms of the battery life. People are saying, yo, you could charge the phone at work. Why didn't you bring a portable charge? That's not the point of the video. Obviously, I know I could charge the phone, but the point of the video is to see how long the phone would go through the day without me charging it to see how long the battery would last. But yeah, right now it's 10, 12. Um, I have 79% battery life and we have to do a lot of stuff. I just finished my first meeting. I have another meeting at 1 p.m. today with a company. Another meeting at 2 p.m. today with another meeting at 4 p.m. today where I have to actually go in to film something for another company. So it's a pretty busy day. Oh, I also have to post some videos for Elgato at 1 p.m. as well. Let's actually see how the Twitter 
tweet is doing. It has 108 replies. If you guys see yourself here, you know you're the goats. Shout out to everybody here right now. But yeah, work time. So for this specific edit, I needed to find a song that could fit the vibe, so I just went on TikTok, scoured it for a little bit until I could find a nice song. I found one, air dropped it over to my MacBook, but then he hit me. This is a Elgato and Dreamville collab, so I should just probably use a J. Cole track, so I did that instead and started editing. What's going on guys? We've been very productive so far. It's currently uh 12 04 i haven't used the phone that much i'm actually exporting the first video that we did 12 04 i have 71 percent battery life i did get like a couple notifications you guys might have saw me checking my phone periodically i just checked like emails and stuff like that check on twitter but now i'm just gonna airdrop this file that i just transferred that i just exported through premiere pro over to my iphone because at 1 p.m. I need to post that on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and also send over to Elgato. And then now I'm gonna start working on my actual day job videos. So we're back to editing. While I was editing, I decided to use my SE as a checklist for Notion, just to make sure I checked off all the topics that I was covering in my edit, so I just don't miss out on anything since I have a lot of things to do on a schedule today. I just asked Siri to also remind me when it was 12.55pm because I had to hop into another meeting. So at 12.55 of course my timer went off and I took a short break from editing because I had to prep my social media post for Elgato and also to prepare for my 1pm meeting which I'm 100% sure I'm gonna be late for. Also, I had some exports running in the background because I'm just a productive guru like that. So I posted onto TikTok for Elgato, my Twitter post went live, and I also needed to post onto Reels, but I forgot to copy the caption, and I was just so lazy to rewrite everything, so instead, I just screenshotted the picture and used live text feature on the iPhone to copy the caption itself. That's kinda cool. Also, by the way, I'm still not used to screenshotting like this with the home button. I just posted up all my social media stuff I'm like 11 minutes behind on my next meeting, so let's go over to the MacBook setup and see what they're talking about. Now it's about 9 minutes to 2 and just while I was chilling I had to update my team on Slack that I did all the videos for today and I also started to just get more comfortable with the iPhone SE. The 2018 milliamp hour battery is definitely starting to show its colors. I think the A15 Bionic chip is more power efficient but at the end of the day it's still a small battery draining a lot of power. I was literally just on my phone and it turned into I don't know like 10 minutes. Right, meeting number 3. Let's go. So my third meeting was running over to 45 minutes and I was getting super hungry. As much as I would like to cook right now, I don't have the time. Plus, my cooking skills are very limited. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Thanks, everyone. If you guys can see, it's now 2.59. So it's 2.59, 43% battery life left. I don't think that's good because we still have to go out today. We have like a full shoot that we have to do out today. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm definitely going to bring a power bank with me or a MagSafe battery pack. By the way, one thing that Apple really missed out on is not adding MagSafe to the SE. In terms of size, yes, the SE is a little bit bigger than the iPhone 13 mini. As you guys can probably see right here. But the 13 mini has a larger screen because of that full screen display. It's also thinner, the SE is super thin, so I'm wondering if that's the reason why they didn't add MagSafe or they just didn't want to give us like a premium feature. I do still think the 4.7 inch screen is too small. In this day and age, a lot of content is now full screen or a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and I just find myself scrolling a bit more on the SE to view the content that I need to see. It's also very clear how different the screen looks since it's not OLED, like for example, on the iPhone 13 mini. The blacks aren't super black and if I look closely I can see all the pixels on the screen but that's just me. It's also not the brightest display, it goes up to 625 nits. So next to the iPhone 13 Pro you can see how much of a difference they have at full brightness. And yes, I know this is a crazy comparison but it's just for reference. In bright sunlight it's still a bit of a struggle, I tend to find myself 
bumping up the screen to full brightness and then even then it's still hard to see what's going on and in turn that drains the battery life. I know a lot of you guys might not care but I do a lot of video editing on my phone and small tweaks to thumbnails so things like that just stand out to me but the phone is really fast, exporting is quick and everything just processes well. Watching the regular YouTube videos and stuff are completely fine, the colors look vibrant and Apple-like, also the text is okay but not as sharp and I think it's due to the LCD display. I wanted just to show you guys what the camera quality looks like downstairs and stuff but it's here. It's actually a really good day today. That's the back camera. As I said before, you can zoom in. You have no telephoto lens. It's also very windy outside. So let me know down below in the comments how the mic does. But we could digitally zoom in. Zooming in, that's the max digital zoom we get right there. You have the gardener, all of that good stuff. Just taking a look at my hands. But yeah, that's the quality you get from the iPhone SE. 3.27 p.m., 33, 34% battery life. I have to reach this location at 4 p.m. I'm gonna try to eat as much food as I can and then we'll get ready and head out. So I finally got to the office, I met everyone from the Mobile Syrup team, rehearsed my script, and then we started to film. Hopefully, I could tell you guys exactly what I'm filming, but for now, this has to be a secret. Are you filming right now? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was actually nice. filming like a um, day in the life of the iPhone SE. Oh, cool. Uh, guess how much percentage it has right now? Four? You're, she's closer. 20? 20! <laughs> um, question. My questions were, had you used the previous SE? Uh, no, I actually used the previous SE. I think it was a 2020. That one. Fair enough. How? What are your thoughts on the this right one? now? Yeah. I think it's cool, but mm -hmm. like just wait. That's a controversial question. Oh. What do you think about the home button? Should dun, dun, should they have dun. gotten rid of it, or do we like do we stick with it? I like the home button, but. Yeah. It's so old school, you know what I mean? I think they could have placed it on like the power button instead. Mm, kind of like the yeah. iPad Air. So, so, so a button, like a yeah. fingerprint button. button up here. The thing that I don't like about the mm. iPad Air and the button, like I just want, I just want Face ID because this just takes so long. Like I hate, uh, I hate this concept. So? Yeah, I just feel like it takes so long in comparison. True. I mean, this, this um. has been a journey. <laughs> <laughs> you see? I just started a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shut it out, shut I it just, out right no. now. <laughs> Take stuff with Alex, everybody. Um, no, I just literally started and I was like, I'm just gonna do a simple like unboxing of it. I edited it on the iPad. What? Luma Fusion? Luma Fusion, yeah. Oof. Now, mind you, everybody keeps talking about how great Luma Fusion is and I had it's 4K, hot, right? I had 4K footage and 1080p. Down? It slowed down so much. It was awful. It was so bad. And it was like three minutes too. You guys heard it here first. All right, guys. So I'm still on set right now. It's 5.29. 5.29 p.m. 15% battery life left. Haven't really been using the phone that much. But since like I'm just waiting for my turn to go, I'm just going to like, I don't know, the era just looks sick. So I'm just going to take a quick, like a quick couple pictures for you guys. So yeah, let's see what the SE could do. Let's go. Personally, I think the iPhone SE takes stunning pictures. Yes, the colors are vibrant, it looks sharp. It's also just not the most versatile camera out there. Selfie camera is also okay, but it's just not the sharpest I've seen in a smartphone camera, even at this price range. All right, so I know I have 8% left right now, but I just got heads up that I need to post, I have to post a video for my, my day job. So I'm just gonna quickly upload that to Instagram and also to TikTok. All right, so now it's winding down. My battery is almost dead, but today has been a very, very fun and productive day. Oh my day. God. 
Nine percent. Nine percent. I was one up. One up. Nine percent. Um, outraged. We also got to check out the brand new BMW iX. It's a crazy, crazy SUV, all electric, the torque, the speakers are crazy good. The speed is insane. Man, this is a $100,000 car and it definitely felt like it. So yes, the iPhone SE made it throughout the day. Well, barely. I think if I was pushing it more, it would have ended around 5 p.m. But today was just, as I said before, very busy and I didn't have much screen on time as usual. Today I got six hours and 25 minutes screen on time with the iPhone SE. I think I used my phone productively enough today and that's all that matters. While it was charging, I'm just going to pick up a few deliveries I had from earlier today, which you guessed it, the Mac Studio, so I could finally pair it up with my studio display. So far, my three weeks experience with the SE has been bittersweet. There's a lot of small issues I have, like the no wide angle camera, no night mode, no tap to wake, getting used to not having swipe gestures, swiping down for the control center by accident, and the list goes on and on. But hey, that's not the SE's fault. That's just me having high expectations for a low budget range iPhone. Also, it's winding down now to 9 p.m. So I'm just gonna finish my leftovers that I left today, organize all my footage, and get some sleep for another day tomorrow. Hey Siri, turn off the bedroom lights. <laughs> 